okay so let's take a look at how you can get the rest api data into power bi right so if you're on cloud version of power bi you can log into interface where you can click on create then here you can check for services if you find any rest api service you can use this from the list however what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the power bi desktop for this and in order to use rest api i'm going to try this service an api yeah. of ice and fire right if you check it's one of the url you will find it has this json data here right you can see the title analysis parents then books pov books tv series so basically a data related to characters right and you also have data specific to house right so many characters included right so it basically shows you the house of dragons data right so if i'm not wrong right so it should be that right so that's pretty much the data we have there is also one more which is books game of thrones then another book is there and its respective characters so game of thrones then house of dragon so currently for one we have game of thrones right so if i choose to get this particular data through this api url i will have to open power bi right click on that and once we open that we will have to point this particular api up to this books section now we will have to click on get data right so if i choose to use web right because web should accept your rest api click connect right now here i'll be putting a path up to books i'm not going to mention book number one let power bi figure that out click on ok so let's remove that it will go to that particular section it will show you this particular only available option right so we'll close this again and then get the data and choose web see advance here i'm going to put in up to books right and then as you can see this is the data we are seeking so if you often Put the basic part may not give you exact output but if you choose advanced part it will let you import all those 10 books as you can see game of thrones clash of kings then dance with dragon rogue prince etc right so these are some of the books that you can import simply click on close and apply and then you will find your fields will be populated by those seven or eight rows of data right as you can see 10 rows loaded now let's take a look at fields section which is query one query two right so these two things within query one we only have books character houses query two 
we got all the data including publisher etc now if i want to publish this to cloud and create a report out of, out of that i will just click on publish save and i will see rest demo right and let it publish it to my workspace click select now it will be saying success so that we can move forward okay, click on got it now here we can go to cloud then we will check within browse workspace and then we will take a look at let's see rest demo data set here you can share this data set or you can create report so let's go and auto create a report out of this small piece of data you can see it will only point you to this url and book because i only created one query you can remove this and add things like country characters eyes let's say name remove the ispn then publisher also pov character number of pages right so these are some of the interesting piece of data like sum of pages then number of pages per country hardcover type then per year how many number of pages and then you also have POV characters which won't be much of useful considering it only outputs the your total typed characters here right same with number of pages so this is kind of vague data and nothing conclusive can be extracted out of this right so if you want something like that you can check if you want to have a different data right so for that you will have to take a look at some other api where you can get much deeper data and then you basically connect it with your power bi desktop and then publish it take it to cloud and then auto create reports and then you will be able to share with your any specific use case so for now i only got this api of fire and ice you can get any other api like let's see if we can get it to api who data set so 73 api data sets so let's see if we can get that right so let's see if we have weather data right this is usually interesting you can view this in csv right so let's view it oh so it's asking me for registration unfortunately we don't have access to any let's say who rest api right so currently there does not seem to be any good api source so if you find one to let me know i'll be able to add that in near future for now i got this isn fire one which is most used example out there and something like that when you click on this request resource dot in here you see there is this user data that you can also get so you can find plenty of such rest api data out there you can open it let's see if it allows me to do so right let's click on ok and let's see if it allows us 
you can see it has allowed me and taken me to power query right can get rid of those columns if I don't want so I can remove the page column keep the data ID and rest of the columns right right things that you don't need you don't need to import and only pick the one that you can get so six rows of data here you see and then you can import this by simply clicking on close and apply then you can create your data reports as well right so there is plenty of REST API data out there that you can import, process, and then work with. So I hope you get this example of REST data API importing into Power BI. So do try it.